we are inspired to make this world a better place, to make our world a better place. My name is David Schuster, and I am a physician specializing in electrodiagnostic medicine. This is more commonly known as an EMG, and it has a nasty reputation. So what do we do to make this a little better for everybody? We can build a better EMG. Not only that, but we can, we can build everything a little better. We can make our world a little better. So let's do it. Imagine, imagine with me that you wake up in the morning and your hands are still asleep. You say, wake up, hands. They ignore you. You give them a shake, you throw some water on them, no action. So you drag yourself out, eventually they seem to get going, you drive yourself to work, they fall asleep again. You get to work, you're dropping things. Something's not right. You go to sleep that night, you're sound asleep, and your hands wake you up because they're asleep. So what do you do? Well, you do what everybody does. You consult your friend. <laughs> and your friend says, I had that same thing, and they made me have this horrible, awful, barbaric test called an EMG, where they stuck a million needles all over my body. They plugged them into electricity. I had electricity going through my body. They electrocuted me so much I smelled like fried chicken. <laughs> you say, maybe I won't go to the doctor just yet. So it gets worse. And it gets worse. You live with it. It gets so bad that you say, okay, I'm going crazy. I can't stand this anymore. So finally, you go to your physician who says... I think you have this nerve thing. We're not sure where it's coming from. We got to get it checked out. We're going to send you to this special specialist, and he sends you to moi. <laughs> now you're really scared. Everything's gotten worse. What you imagine is worse. All of this is worse. You're tied up in knots. So what do we do? We have to bring you down from this. So what do we use? We use the highest technology tool around, the most sophisticated technology that there is. Talk. Talk, 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 talk. But not just talk. Talk that is built on empathy, empathy that is built on expertise, on doing it right, on doing it the best that it can be done. Where do we go from here? How important is talk? In case you haven't noticed, here at TEDx Dayton, we've been doing it all day, and it has been phenomenal. When I test physicians for their specialty examination in electrodiagnostic medicine, this is the cream of the crop we're testing, specialists of specialists, before I start grilling them, I say, talk to me like I'm your patient. That's how much talk matters. But my talk must go where no talk has gone before. My talk must go to the universe of that individual patient. Because while the symptoms may be the same, the patient who's feeling those symptoms is always different. I have to feel what that patient is feeling. And how do I do that? My near and dear old professor, Dr. Gitter, who I will hold in memory always, said, Dave, you got to feel what the patients feel. How do you do that? How do you feel real empathy? You take that needle that you put in patients and you stick it in your thumb. Then you'll feel real empathy. You think that a lesson like that might stick with you. Talk, empathy, this is the icing on the cake. The cake 
is expertise. Doing it right, doing it the best that it can be done. What you may know about Dayton, Ohio, is that it is the first in flight. A couple of brothers with the right stuff. What you may not know is that Dayton, Ohio, is the first city in Ohio, one of the first in the nation, to have a physician who is not only accredited nationally, but accredited with exemplary status. And I'm proud to say that person is me, and I hope that others will follow. What does that mean to be accredited? That means that you are held to a national standard that ensures that you will help the patient more and hurt the patient less. Why bother getting accredited? We don't need to do this to do what we do because it's better for the patient. That's what this is all about. Now, if we could just get the license plate. <laughs> so let's talk. For those of you who may not recognize this, <laughs> this is what a telephone used to look like. But it was tough to get in your pocket, and it only lasted a century. <laughs> I use this high-tech device to call my patients at home before I see them in the office. Blows you away, doesn't it? Hello, this is Dr. Schuster calling for Ted. Ted. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not a recorded message. This is really me. Hi, Ted. I'll be seeing you tomorrow evening, and I always like to meet people over the phone before I meet you in person. Tell me about you. You're nervous. You're nervous. How do you think I feel? I'm standing here in front of a thousand people. <laughs> I'm nervous. Am I empathizing with you? Are we feeling this? Tell me about what's bothering you. Your hands fall asleep in the morning and they won't wake up and you think it's because they don't want to go to school that day. <laughs> your neck hurts, your back hurts, your foot hurts, everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell me about what doesn't hurt. Ted, Ted, tell me what you do for fun. You do anything for fun except what you're going to be doing in my office tomorrow night. <laughs> well, Ted, I can't, I can't promise you this is going to be fun. But what I can promise you is that I will make this as comfortable as I can possibly make it for you. That's my responsibility. So let me tell you about what will happen tomorrow. You'll come, we'll talk. You'll explain more about what's going on with you. I'll ask you to point to exactly where it's bothering you. Show me where it hurts. Then, hands-on physical examination. Then I use a little nerve stimulator around your palm and wrist and elbow. And you feel what feels like static electricity. A little shock. I'll turn it up as gradually and slowly as I can. But no matter how slow I go, it's always a surprise. We'll do those. And then I'll take a tiny little pin it's the tiniest pin they make, and I test all the different brands on me, so I know how they feel. You'll feel a little pinch and a little pinprick. We'll start in a nice big muscle up in your shoulder. Most people say it's no big deal. Ted, any questions for me? Well, thank you for your time, and I look forward to meeting you in person tomorrow. Fast forward, it's tomorrow evening. I come into the room early. The biggest shop shock happens as soon as I walk through the door. <laughs> Ted, show me, where it's, show me what's bothering you, point to it. It's no fair, you're pointing to me. <laughs> Let's get going, Ted. Now, before, I, before Ted feels a shock from me, before I stick a needle in Ted, Ted and I connect. Hello, Ted. I'm David. Welcome. Did you have to come far? Eye contact. 
hand contact. We have connected. Now we'll cut to the chase here. I'm going to give Ted a break. And because all of us will eventually be patients, I'm going to be the patient and show you what we do. Because this is the crux. This is my massive needle. We'll start up here in my shoulder, just to see how that feels. If you feel a little pinch and a little pinprick. Push against my elbow, that noise you hear is your muscle working. Now we move down, each muscle connected to a different nerve, and we're learning about the nervous system. I'm poking like this. How are we doing so far, gang? <laughs> now this is the tough one. This is the one Dr. Gitter told me about, and I don't think he ever envisioned that I would be doing this in front of a thousand intimate friends. <laughs> so here we go. This is empathy in action. This is walking the walk more than talking the talk. This physician is feeling what your patient feels. Talk, empathy, doing it right, doing it the best it can be done. Notice that these are human characteristics because we as people will always be the highest, the most sophisticated technology there is. The rest of that stuff is just stuff that we make. My point, and I do have one, <laughs> transcends making a person more comfortable while they're having their EMG. This is about doing whatever it is that you do for humanity the best it can be done. This is about more than walking in another person's shoes. This is about climbing inside another person's skin, feeling what they feel, and acting accordingly. If all of us, everybody, could climb inside another person's skin, really feel what they feel, and act according to their needs, there may be a little more talk and a little less pain in our world. Thank you.